Hello and welcome. My name is Alan Duncan and I'm the chair of the Electronics and Computer Engineering Department. This session is going to discuss the Electrical Engineering Technology Marine and Industrial Program. Camosun College's campuses in Lansdowne and Interurban uh, are located on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen and Musanich peoples. We acknowledge their welcome and graciousness to the students who seek knowledge here. The health and well-being of students, staff, and faculty are a priority of Camosun College. Camosun College will follow any guidelines published by the Provincial Health Officer, WorkSafe BC, and BC Government regarding COVID-19 uh, to maintain the health and safety of all who work here. This slide shows some of the department faculty who teach across six programs. We have expertise in various areas from IT to computer engineering, electronics, and electrical technology. So the Electrical Engineering Technology Marine Industrial Program is primarily an electrical technology program. Uh, you're going to learn about electrical system design, all the fundamentals, using uh, tools, and carry out labs within the electrical technology domain. Uh, the program is also designed to have a marine flavor, so there are marine elements uh, discussed uh, in a number of different courses. The program admission requirements are listed on the screen. Um, if you don't have uh, those admission requirements uh, currently, you may want to consider uh, the related access program. There is an electronics and computer engineering technology access program that accepts students from grade 10 onwards, and you will upgrade uh, to a grade 11 or grade 12, uh, depending on, on what level you require. This program shares the first year with students in the Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology Renewable Energy Program. There are courses listed in first year on the screen. Uh, we have two math courses, one physics and one English course. The math course basically teaches you tools that are used to enable you to design and calculate uh, electrical circuits and electrical technology systems. Physics course helps you understand uh, fundamental princi principles of how things function and operate. For example, electromagnetic fields, how electric motor can function. And of course, English is focusing more on the technical writing aspect, uh, not English literature side. So it's technical writing based English. Uh, so it's the English you're gonna use in your work environment, writing reports, um, uh, etc. Circuit analysis enables you to um, calculate and design uh, electrical systems and uh, teaches you um, specific theories that enable you to um, determine unknown quantities in, in, in circuits. Digital fundamentals, uh, there are two courses. Uh, you'll learn basic digital uh, logic functions you will uh, evaluate those in labs uh, using digital ICs, and then you'll move on to uh, field programmable gate array devices where there are thousands of digital gates that you can configure using software. There's C programming course in the first semester, and this, you are taught C programming, and you will use that to program an Arduino microcontroller. So in the very first semester of the program, you're gonna learn what a microcontroller is and how you can program it to um, flash a light, read a switch, um, display something on a screen, etc. cetera. Um, there's uh, analog electronic fundamentals you're gonna learn in the first semester, both in circuit analysis and also in the C programming class. Um, and the microcontroller systems course is uh, a follow-on from the Arduino and uses a PIC microcontroller. So there you will learn about a whole family of devices that are available uh, from 8-bit and up um, that have a, a different kind of architecture and uh, can be used to design solutions for many, many different devices. And in first year, there's also an introduction to renewable energy. So you will go through uh, a lot of theory about renewable energies, different systems, problems, issues, uh, positive things about renewable energy. And you will also learn um, 
you also investigate a number of those concepts in labs. So for example, you'll learn about uh, fuel cells and how they function, generating hydrogen, um, how wind turbines function, blade design, um, how um, to step up voltages um, from batteries to uh, an AC signal, that sort of thing. So you learn basic concepts and building blocks within the renewable energy course. Moving into second year, this is where the program splits off from the electronics program. Uh, you can see there's a, a number of topics that you're going to be under learning about. Electric machines, electrical machines, well, that's essentially motors. Uh, there's many different designs of motors, different kinds of motors. And you're going to learn about the characteristics of the motor, uh, which motor would be used in which application, how to electrically drive those motors, how you can vary the speed of the motor, how you can stop, how you can start it. Different motor technologies use different systems. And so you'll learn about all the different electrical gear that goes along with those motors. And of course, we're not just talking about small little motors. These could be very large motors uh, that are used in industrial systems or in uh, uh, systems on board a ship. Power distribution, you'll learn about how, uh, for example, a, a BC Hydro distributes power from high voltage uh, systems down to uh, home level or industrial level three phase systems. Um, you will learn about uh, switchgear and fusing and, and all sorts of things to deal with power management in a safe way. Uh, you'll also have a course on marine systems and how electrical systems on, on ships are uh, uh, different or, or actually are the same as ones on land. And of course, ships are uh, have a lot of electrical gear on them. A lot of ships now have um, either bow thrusters to enable ships to uh, dock and navigate narrow spaces. Um, but there's also a, a move for a primary uh, power source being electric drive. Um, and uh, so there's all sorts of systems around that. There are battery powered ships. Uh, there's battery powered ferries. Uh, there are local companies in Vancouver that manufacture battery charging and monitoring systems. Um, so there's a lot of technology around that and it's an expanding area as things become electrified. Um, program and logic controllers, you're going to learn about PLCs. Uh, they're a fundamental building block that's used in electrical systems. Uh, you can buy them off the shelf, uh, buy modules that you need for a particular application, and then you'll learn actually how to code those devices. So the picture on the screen there shows the back of a, uh, a human machine interface, uh, or basically an LC, touch LCD screen connected to a PLC, which is in the uh, top right hand corner. Um, of the, the unit. Speed drives, um, these are uh, electrical units that are electronic unit that drives uh, an electric motor and changes its speed, usually under network control. Uh, so to control, to, to control the speed of an AC uh, induction motor, uh, basically you have to control the voltage that's applied to the motor and also the frequency of the sine wave that's applied to the motor. Uh, so those are what uh, speed drives would uh, um, handle for uh, an induction motor. And of course, there's similar things for DC motors and other kinds of uh, motor technology. RF communications, um, so radio communications, how you communicate at distance. Um, uh, there's a course on that, so you'll cover modulation techniques and transmission issues uh, uh, in the RF area. One of the roles of an electrical technologist is to design and also document electrical systems. And one of the tools that is used in the industry is AutoCAD Electrical. Uh, AutoCAD Electrical is a very complex program that has lots of capability uh, when it comes to PLCs, when it comes to bringing in parts from different vendors. There's large, large databases of these parts that you can bring in, draw in, and uh, interconnect uh, using Electrical AutoCAD. And of course, that creates all these drawings that are needed for people to wire up, communicate uh, what you're wanting uh, designed or built by someone else. So in the electrical program, 
students will learn how to design uh, and drive electric machines, which I've talked about already. You'll also learn how to specify electrical installations and buildings, including the lighting requirements to light spaces, depending on what tasks are being performed in that particular space. So there's a lot to do to learn in that. And so you can assist there in large building development, estate development, um, or even renovations. The drawing on the left, the picture on the left hand side is sort of drawing, showing you sort of the electrical wiring for lighting in a unit, uh, in a system. And on the right hand side, there's some uh, educational sized motors uh, made by a company called Labvolt uh, or Festo. And they're actually um, showing there and you'll be able to connect up and do labs with those kind of equipment. I mentioned about learning about PLCs. And here's some pictures of different PLCs. The picture on the left shows a PLC with a number of I.O. modules. And the picture on the right shows a laptop plugged into a PLC in a cabinet that is obviously part of an electrical installation. So electrical engineering technology with marine industrial, there's lots of different applications, potential employers. You can obviously work in the marine industry. You could work in the standard electrical industry. Um, uh, you could work for BC Hydro. Um, there are lots of different opportunities. Uh, and these are companies, uh, some below, that are potential employers of students of the electrical engineering technology marine industrial program. There are a number of programs offered by the department, and you can see them listed on the screen. There's access programs, there's a technician program, there's the uh, electronics computer engineering technology renewable energy program, and the electrical engineering technology marine industrial. Graduates of both the two technology programs can move forward into the electrical engineering or computer engineering bridge to the University of Victoria. You have to apply uh, with a, uh, a B grade average um, from your technology program. If you complete the engineering bridge program, which is two semesters long, uh, you would transfer into third year engineering at the University of Victoria. And then you could complete an engineering degree. So for complete information about programs, you can uh, follow that link there. Um, and you can also learn about the cost of the program, what you learn, uh, admission requirements, and how to actually apply on, of course, the college website. There are many services offered at Camosun for students. Um, you can see a number of different areas. Uh, academic advising, it's all free to students who are registered the, the program. Um, support for indigenous students, counseling center, um, there's all sorts of resources for uh, taking notes, um, time management, managing stress, um, uh, and of course financial aid and awards uh, is an important area as well for students. And of course we also have child care and the student society that run and offer all sorts of activities for students at Camosun College. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, listen to me uh, explain a little bit more about the Electrical Engineering Technology Marine Industrial Program. If you're interested in having a tour of our labs, uh, you're welcome to reach out to me. My email is shown on the screen there, um, and you can arrange a time that uh, works for both of us. Um, if there's any other information uh, that you would like uh, answered, please again reach out to my email and I'll do my best to assist you. And I look forward to seeing you at some point in the future. Thank you.